Bonjour et bienvenue tout le monde. Toujours bien apprécié. Merci d'être passé. Thanks for coming by everyone. My name is Bruce. We're looking at the surface of the moon in the Apennine mountain range. Often people say that the moon has a sort of shell around it. It's what I've heard for years before I've even started the research. Some talk about looking like it's through glass and you can't wonder why. This is the exact reason why because it looks like it has a shell. It actually does. But some of that shell or um, yeah we'll call it a shell well is what I believe is the the surface of all the constructed objects that could possibly be constructed four major lines here five six even these massive 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 lines going by over top of areas that are uh, maybe possibly connected to some of those areas here again some more lines going by it's pretty interesting and it's beautiful to see and Um, they're beautiful glimpses of the surface that, you know, people should appreciate, but not all of us do. Look here, you'd see something veering in there, again there. Une surface avec un, uh, des lignes qui passent partout. Les lignes de uh, connexion, les lignes qui sont connectées partout. Um, selon moi, ça serait construit, mais ça c'est juste mon, mon, mon simple opinion. Another square patch you just saw there. Cut out square. Mare fecunditatis. Absolutely amazing. And Demian Crater, not too far away. So we're looking at a surface where it looks very porous, right? It looks like a, a sponge, basically. And this is yesterday's video, right? Because I didn't get a video up yesterday. So what I'm going to have to do is, I know, I'm going to have to go make another video. Because I want to. And uh, I'm going to make a nice 10, 15 minute video. Maybe a 15 minute video. Some nice surface structuring. Um, the surface straight up surface you know i call them structures maybe they're natural maybe they're not who knows so in the darkness we see uh, patchy hazy areas which really interests me a lot because it shows that there's some type of interaction on the surface or activity that there's smoke being caused to come from a certain area and we see patches or, or if you want pockets of area of these patches even some uh, 90 degree angles that we could see which are under the haze that proves that it's not pixelation but hey that's just my opinion uh, bridge like object straight path down here where we could even see connections it's really amazing Rarely anything comes up about space in our newspapers here in my area in Montreal, even the Gazette, even the big newspapers. And let me tell you uh, that when they do talk about space, um, I often take the clippings out and, you know, save that and compare to what other countries are saying about the moon. Here's Copernicus Crater and the beautiful greenery and uh, natural colors around it. They said in the newspaper last week that the moon had had earthquakes because of the temperature. It was cold because of it being so cold. We also heard that Canada shook, the state shook because it was cold. Earth had earthquakes in Canada here because of the cold. Three different beautiful zoom settings that you could see the same area being zoomed up excessively in the bottom right. Isn't that beautiful? And that is a beginning of the surface structuring. And of course, Hey, as for clarifying it, well, whoa, we were never able to see it. Let's start by enjoying being able to see some of these objects. And that's not all. There's more than just objects. Like I say, and I can't say enough, most, if not all, the objects are connected. They seem to be on the, you know, setting like here on Earth sometimes where it looks like there's sort of roots. Not sort of. It looks like there's roots. And like I say, just um, visually observing the moon is... You know, that's what we can see when we are observing it. Here's the same area we just zoomed in. Here's a nice tilt. You can see the mares there rolled over. Here's what happened when I had just got the 14-inch telescope and I made a video before even trying it and reached out to my community. But right now, I'm going to work very hard to be able to learn how to operate this baby. 
guys. The minute the moon is out, I'm taking her out, shooting it at, right up, straight up to the moon, and we're gonna get our first crafts, the first structure, clear as day. I'm not even worried. I can't wait. So. And so I set off on my spiritual journey and sharing it all with you guys, finding the beautiful surprises, hidden surprises on the surface of the moon. We're looking at smokes and hazes and um, UFOs prancing around, even some here that are flying by in the UFO fleet that I've been working on. Was able to zoom in with the 14 inch telescope to see that those little objects once finding them able to slow them down and to try to get into them to see their interaction and my goodness we're actually seeing some interaction with some projectiles illuminated projectiles now if you guys listen to what they're saying about the secret projects on all the channels on all platforms and come back here and look at my work you you will be able to make some uh pretty quick conclusions on some certain questions that maybe you guys have had in the past about um, what exactly is on the moon here on the east side this beautiful light illuminating the entire sky all along the east side of the moon was just a mesmerizing chance it's uh, these are all little exceptional chances not everyone's going to be able to get you see this dark object fly up um, across the surface high enough and now a projectile illumination crossing over so now i'm like well, are these crafts? Are they shooting on the moon? Like, what the heck is going on? But either way, it's very interesting to see this coming down. Now, we're pretty close here. We are very, very close. And yeah, of course, you're going to see some pixelation in the sky. I'm not going to hide it. Look what we're looking at in the center. It's pretty amazing to see that there are more than one object, because these are two UFOs arriving to the surface. And now on the surface, something flies up that you see there. We'll show it three or four times because I still haven't even worked on this. I've showed it once or twice, three times, but it's amazing. Some black shadow rises up off the surface just, just, just before um, that light comes out. Alors, mes amis, qu'est-ce que c'est? Un ombrage um, très élevé sur la surface de la Lune apparaît rapidement et ensuite une lumière, un genre de projection de lumière, une illumination qui se promène sur la surface, um, semblerait-il va atterrir. So these lights are really crossing over on and to and leaving the moon, going to the moon, uh, human or not, I'm not even interested in that. All I know is that there is something up there. It's beautiful getting a chance to see what's going up there. I believe there's a, an entire system up there i believe it's not just pocketed events maybe um a dual world who knows maybe another civilization up there um, on the moon living like us i really can't see how that could bother anyone and and how people could even think that it, that that could not exist i mean i think we're pretty naive um or we're, we're anyways no matter what the reason that it's hard for us to believe that someone's on another planet it's not hard to understand that's what we're told right whether it be for our protection or not, well, at one point it can happen, yes, that somebody does find something on the moon. It's only normal. Square craters or 90 degree angles, that's pretty cool to see. This one was one of the most amazing ones though. Arriving to the east side, see in slow motion how the sky lights up. But you know, keep your eyes inside of the red square. I know there's a lot going on, but try to do this. Oh, there's even some going by in the background objects ufos but look inside the square there it is a shadow that's all it is but it's an amazing shadow that has a light projected at the end of it now moving around it's over the surface it's lighting up the entire sky ever so bright and of course pressed up against the surface we're not going to see um, th this with the naked eye looking at the moon probably not we'll see a speck or a spark but uh, here in black and white we can see on the left that object rising off the surface before the projectile uh, came across and I was able to capture it. And again, that's one of two because there was two projectiles and so on and so forth. If I, if I would have continued filming uh, at that moment, if I would have known it right in that area, obviously I probably would have captured a lot more. Christy Lindsay 
and everyone, thank you so much for the generous contributions and help. I love you all.